Do, 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 do. Oh, hi there, friends. Welcome back to the Tinker Factory. I'm just embroidering some patches on my apron. I like to add a patch for every family event weekend that we have here at the museum. So I'm currently adding a lightsaber for Star Wars, and then next month I'll add something for Santa's milk and cookies in December. You know, I haven't always sewn. I had to have a fairy friend teach me how to do it. And now we have a sewing station here in the Tinker Factory. My fairy friend Brenda is the one who gave me my very first sewing lesson when I was like this tall. Hmm, should I make her something as a thank you? I think I should. Let's make her a pillow since that's the very first thing I learned how to sew. What do you guys think? Let's go make a pillow for a sewing fairy. Before we get started on our project, let's go over the Tinker Fairy safety rules. Rule number one, we need to wear our snazzy safety glasses. Rule number two, let's grab a grown-up to make sure we're safe and to help us with our project. And rule number three, we need to remember to clean up when we're done. Now let's go get on our project. So this is our sewing machine that we have here in the Tinker Factory. We just opened this station this year. Some of the projects that we have going on right now are cute little purses. We have a cute little teddy bear a sand dollar, and what we're going to make today, we have a cute little pillow. I'm so excited to show you guys how to make a pillow. But first, before we get started, let's have a history fun fact. Did you know that a man named Elias Howe invented the very first sewing machine in 1846? The very first sewing machine looks different than the one that I am going to use today. It looks like this. Now you know, back to our project. This has been a history fun fact. Okay friends, I'm not gonna show you how to set up the sewing machine because there's so many brands and models out there. My machine is probably different than the one you're going to have at home. But don't worry, there's plenty of YouTube videos out there that you can watch how to set it up and how to use it. That's exactly how I learned how to use this model because this model is different than the one that I grew up using. Now what we're going to do is start on our pillow. So you're going to need two pieces of fabric. As long as they're the same size, they can be any shape you want. A circle, a heart, a triangle, a rectangle. Mine's gonna be a square, but you can make it however you want. This is your pillow. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, so a very important note for when we're starting, we want the bright side of our fabric to face each other. We're going to sew our pillow inside out to try to hide some of our seams. So first we're going to sew three of our edges together. All right, so we have finished the first three sides of our pillow and now we're gonna work on our last side. We're going to leave most of this side unsewn. That way we have enough room to stick our hand there and pull it inside out so we can stuff it. So don't sew it all the way. Leave enough room for your hand to be in there. About two or three inches. Let's go ahead and do our last side. Woo! All right, so now we're going to turn our pillow inside out and we're going to stuff it. All right, now our pillow is stuffed, so we're going to close up this hole that we have left. So I'm going to take some embroidery thread and a needle and I will loop it closed and then to make it look like I did it on purpose, I'm gonna loop the rest of the sides as well. So all I did to make this little loop is I'm going through both sides of the fabric and pulling through, nothing fancy. All right, so we're technically done with our pillow because we've sewn the hole up and no stuffing's coming out. It's a pillow, right? But just one side doesn't look very good. So we're gonna do our little loopy stitches on the other sides we've already sewn to make it match and make it look like we did it on purpose. For the sake of time, I'm going to use my fairy magic to speed up the process. Whoa, it's so pretty. I love our little pillow, friends, and I'm pretty sure Brenda's really gonna like it too. Well, I guess we better go ahead and follow rule number three and clean up. There's not really too much to clean up, but I can put things away.
I love our pillow. It's so soft and squishy. Well, thank you so much for tinkering with me today, friends. I had so much fun making a little pillow with you. Was this your first sewing lesson? That's awesome. I'm glad I could be part of this experience for you. Well, I better go get to the ferry post office and mail this to Brenda before they close. Thanks for coming to see me, friends. I'll see you next time.